This bill recognizes the inescapable reality that countless hardworking, gainfully employed, and in many cases taxpaying immigrants or students or family members of active duty service members in the United States Armed Forces who happen to be immigrants without papers are already operating motor vehicles on our roads. And it's dangerous because they're doing so without having had to learn our motor vehicle laws or be tested on them. They're doing so without insurance, perhaps with unregistered vehicles, and they're doing so without incentive to abide the law and pull over. Um, they're doing so without paying fees for these IDs because they don't have licenses. And, and so what we're trying to do is accept that reality and encourage greater law abide, uh, 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 greater abiding of the law um, by the many people that aren't able to get to work, school, or church without a driver's license, at least not legally. They will, they will not be real IDs, as we all know. This will not allow them to vote. This will not allow them to board an airplane. Uh, but it'll not let our neighbors get to work, get to school, get to church, get to the doctor or an appointment for chemotherapy. Um, and these are real examples that I've come across uh, when talking with constituents in my own district. So for the sake of public safety, for the fiscal and revenue benefits to be realized, for recognition of the economic contributions of this population, to lower all of our insurance premiums, and for human rights, I most respectfully urge this committee to report, report this bill favorably.